פרשת משפטים, this פרשה is like, it's like a treasure box. If last פרשה, פרשת יתרו, we got the Ten Commandments, this פרשה is the elaboration. So, so many more details that stem from these Ten Commandments. And each of these details, each, each of these משפטים, each of these laws, is just, you just look, it's just, it's just like a pearl. It's like you just, it's like a diamond. You can see so much of... Hashem's laws and, and the, the logic that's supposed to guide us in this world through these laws. It's divine guidance and divine rules. So each, each one of them could really be a whole, like a, could have a whole course for the son, this parasha. But just as an example, so it says, for instance, it says that uh, if you give somebody some, if there's a keeper, you give ask somebody to keep for you your sheep, your ox, your jewelry, whatever, whatever is more relevant. And then, and he does it like you just ask him, you know, you don't pay him to keep your stuff. You just ask him, he, he does you this favor and he does, and he keeps it. But then you go on a trip, you come back and you, come, and you want to reclaim your sheep, ox, jewelry, and the keeper says, well, I'm sorry, I really, I admit I'm sorry, but... What can I do? The jewel, there was a thief and, and the jewelry has been stolen or, or I don't know, a fox came and, and ate the sheep. So what do you do? What do you do? This is, this, is a, this is a big question. I mean, I'm sure different cultures answer this question differently, but in a perfect world, if we go according to the rules of the Torah, then what really what, it's, what is expected is you go to the Bedin, you go to the to the judiciary system and your time. And there, the keeper is supposed to give an oath. He's supposed to swear in the name of Hashem that he did not steal, he did not take your jewelry to himself. He did not steal your sheep or your ox or whatever. It really, some, it really was not his fault. Somebody came and stole it or somebody, a fox came and ate it. He did his best. But that's what happened. And that's it. And then he doesn't have to pay or give any compensation. The fact that he made that oath is strong enough for the whole case to just that that's it for life to go on. You're, that's it's supposed to be so grilled, drilled into us that you don't use God's name in vain, and that if somebody swears in the name of Hashem and gives an oath in the name of Hashem, that's that's really that really shows that he's genuine and that's the emit. That you just believe him, and then what can you do? And that's it. And then life goes on, and that's it. So simple and so beautiful. Only on the basis of if Behemet, there's a, you're, God, you're a God-fearing people, and you follow the laws of Hashem, realizing, acknowledging, and Davka, because you know that it is from Hashem, it is divine. And it's godly, and it's not just a way to get away with things, it's not just a law case, and then you just, you know, swear and just give your word. But it is so much more strong and so much more true, and therefore so much more to believe and be able to go on with life, because it's all from Hashem. And that, that's, that's the beauty of it. It's not just the Ten Commandments, and then it's not that Hashem just gave Moshe Rabbeinu the Ten Commandments and then say, okay, all the rest, you just, you know, just, I trust you, just do your own thing. Uh, let's say it says uh, do not kill. So what about? Uh, so what if somebody kills by accident? What if somebody has no motive? What if somebody? How do you know if it's by accident or, or by intention or all these things? It's not that. It's not. It's not. It's not it. It's not just don't kill. These mishpatim. This parasha goes into the details and tells you even. God tells you it's Hashem. It's this parasha that tells you, that. Th there's different categories. There's a category of killing by accident and category by this. And of course, afterwards, we have the Gemara and the Talmud and the Mishnah, like the Mishnah, and then the Gemara and all the Talmud and all the rest, because these things has, have so many, they can develop to so many different directions. But, but it's not, again, but it, so what can you do? Of course, every generation has its additions. But the fact that Hashem did not stop just by the Ten Commandments, He did go into the details of this whole parasha, shows, first of all, shows that He cares. It's not He just, you know, gave us and that's it. And it's like his responsibility. It's he he brings us so much more than just giving us the the mantra, just the, the highlights, and that's it. He God is in the details. 
the fact that he gives us the details show that again that he cares and that it's not he's involved in our lives also on a daily basis also with the details and not just not just throwing us ideas and that's it and then staying in his lofty heavens above he's with us also in the mundane in the routine and the beginning of the Bashat Pasha tells you that the Bet Din, the judiciary system, is supposed to sit next to the Mizbeach because the, end, the last parasha ends with the Mizbeach, with the building of the, of the altar. And then this parasha, Rashi also says it, is that you should put the Bet Din, the Bet Din should, has to sit next to the Mizbeach, next to Bet HaMikdash, next to, like, that's, that's the connection why the Ele Mishpatim is next to the last, last pasuk of the last parasha talking about the Mizbech because these two things come hand in hand. Hashem tells you there's a Mizbech that your your purpose is to sacrifice yourself to me, like to, you, to sacrifice not literally, but I Hashem is in, is in the center, should be in the center of your world. But this next Pasuk, the next verse is put your people next to the Mizbech because what I want from you is to be a, pe- a just people, people of justice who go according to the, to the laws that I give you. I'm not just leaving you like that. It's not just about inspiration and, and sacrifices and Bet HaMikdash. It's about the everyday life that has to follow my rules because those are the emit rules.